Hi guys, yours truly Macon here and welcome back to my channel and another installment of flea markets and vintage markets of the world. I promised you Paris, baby. Let's get started. <music> We are visiting the infamous Saint Wen Market, but a little history first. Also called Puce de Clignancourt, it dates back to around the 1860s. At that time, there was no public garbage collection offered in the city, and ragmen would scour through the garbage, picking out objects they hoped to resell. The ragmen were called crocheteurs or hookmen because of their use of hooks or crochets. Textile was a sought after commodity and easy to repair with these hooks and highly valuable. 150 years ago, crocheteurs were expelled from Paris on the grounds of health and sanitation. They set up shop right outside the city's military walls. Soon, tales of a fabulous place with fabulous bargains and firearms for sale made the market very popular. Once upon seeing piles of junk as far as the eye could see, a disgusted visitor made the comment, nothing but a flea market. Human hygiene was then not to our modern standards and not only animals, but people had fleas. Remember those health and sanitary concerns? Well, someone overheard this and the phrase caught on. And today, flea market is the standard name in most languages and known all over the world all thanks to the Saint Wen Paris market. A little fun fact for you. So the next time you're with the friends and the subject of flea markets comes up, you can have a big bang theory Sheldon moment. They don't have to know you have it from me. I won't tell anyone. Shh. The first permanent cabins were built after World War I by a Monsieur Vanesson, a chaiseur who earned his money renting chairs by the hour in public gardens in Paris. Now the crocheteurs didn't have to lug their goods in every night into storage, creating what now was called Marché Vernasson. Today, the St. Wynne Market is the largest vintage and antique market in the world and has the official address of 87 Rue des Rossières in zip code 39400 saint wynne sur seine France. Very important to know, there is a Rue des Rossiers in the city, in the Marais district. I've made the mistake myself. <laughs> that brings you to about here. I would suggest just turning and entering the Rue Via Biron into the Marché Biron. Guys, just follow the red carpet. <laughs> Don't forget to use one of the side passages to visit the parallel aisle of vendors behind the shops to the left.
only antiques, but contemporary items, especially art, is found here. When you have seen everything in the Marché Béron, just to the left across the street is the Marché Dauphin. This warehouse type building houses, of course, antiques and vintage, but new art and items. Plus housewares, accessories like costume jewelry and watches spaceship anyone You are a vinyls fan, this is the place for you. Leaving the Marché Dauphin, turn right and walk about three blocks to what I consider the jewel of saint Wen, the Serpette Paul Pierre. But don't hurry, on the way are many other shops to explore. Here are many outside aisles of vendors also, but let's go immediately inside. I cannot describe how magnificent the booths here are decorated and curated. You could just buy everything in a booth and have instantly a complete, perfectly decorated room. Need a new living room? How about this one? Or this one? No, maybe this one. Then on to your dining room. 
or an open concept of both living and dining. Let's not even start with the unending choice of incredible lighting options. After many hours of drooling over gorgeous pieces and what organs I truly need to sell to afford them, I was too tired to explore the vendors outside the Sep Hut. But I will admit I was suffering from extreme FOMO. Time for a glass of French wine. I highly suggest the Day Jazz Bar La Chope des Puces. Now you guys are of course curious about what I bought. Firstly, I was a good wife and thought of my husband. I picked up five, no six, that's right. The seller offered me buy five, get one free. So six jazz records for my darling husband who was alone at home when my mom and I lived it up in Paris. And then I bought the complete series of these small glass vases here, each a different form. Right now they have a home on my mantle, but I plan to use them as table decor down the center of my table with one or two flowers in them for my next dinner party. And the splurge, drum roll please. As soon as I saw these vintage Dior plates, I had to have them. The silver and gray edition, which is no longer available. I bought 10 small plates. Yes. 10 larger plates. And a large platter. And this cute little trinket dish I was planning to set on my nightstand to place my rings in. But uh, what happened to the top of your dish making you ask? Well, I'll tell you. As the box arrived, I diligently unpacked and unwrapped each plate to make sure nothing was damaged. Really quickly in the hand, I had this round and bubble wrapped piece. I thought it was the dish bottom and top wrapped together. Looked like it because of the shape and set it on the windowsill of my bedroom to unpack later. You guys know I've been working on my bedroom and I wanted to wait before unpacking and placing it on my nightstand so it would not get broken. Well guys, when I finally unwrapped it, only the bottom, not the top. Yes, that means the top was somewhere buried in the excess, packing plastic in the box. Yeah, it probably got thrown out in the recycling plastic or paper. I seriously wanted to cry, but I knew where to look. Like I told you guys in the last video, do not sleep on Etsy when it comes to vintage rugs. Well, Etsy has some of the best antique and vintage dealers for sought after collector's items. My new one arrived direct again from France. Thank you to The French Luxury on Etsy. I'll make sure I put that here and down in the description box. But you guys, Look how big it is. <laughs> I was so excited to find one. I didn't even check the size. So I am still on the hunt for the smaller one. I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram. So make sure you are following there at Dare to Decorate. And then in the meantime, stop back for more flea and vintage markets of the world, or just to explore all things design, interior to fashion. 
And as always, yours truly, Heart Macon. Hey, I made it without flip. <laughs> Leave it to me to screw up saying flub when I'm trying to say I didn't flub. Okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs>